I am Agusti Falons. I am Deputy General Manager of IRTA. And in Isa Fruit, I am the coordinator of Work Package 73. Work Package 73 tries to increase the impact of the result of the project in our society. And we do that promoting the protection of the identified technology and make, making it available to the market. In Nisafruit, we believe that an effective way of increasing the impact of the project is to help our researchers to convert their work into comprehensive technology offers and to make them visible for industry. We don't have to wait until the end of the project to identify the candidate technologies. In fact, our scientists have done a very good job while preparing the documents that were presented to the European Union for their funding. This was our first source of inspiration to identify these candidate technologies. In Icefruit, we have organized a survey at the beginning of the project. This was also an important source of information and has allowed us to identify at an early stage technologies which had a vocation to become a marketable uh, opportunity. We can help in the complex process of bringing new technologies to the market by helping the researchers to convert the result of their work into comprehensible technology offers and making them visible to the market. If you ask a scientist if what he's working on is new or not, you will always get the same answer. Of course, it's new. This is the result of an appreciation which has been formed after doing a fruitful search in the state of the art and also is a result of exchanging information in scientific events by congresses participating together with other projects. But when the scientist is working in a field which is close to technology, this appreciation may, may not be exact if, in this search of the state of the art, a consultation in an extensive database of patents has not been done. Patent databases are an endless source of information. They contain the latest technological advances and their access has become easier day by day. Just to cite an example, the European Patent Office has made available more than 60 million of full-text documents which are accessible, accessible for everybody. In ISAFRI, we are helping decision-makers to extract useful information from these, let's say, atypical databases. For each of the technologies identified in ISAFRI, we have been analysing data coming from different patent databases with a double objective. First, we wanted to know if we were missing some important information. And second, we, want, we wanted to know as well if it was worth to start a protecting the strategy for that technology. As an example, in the microwave field of fruit processing, we have identified almost 80 relevant patents in the period going from 2000 to 2006. This is in principle not a very big number of patents. When we look at their distribution in time, we learn that most of the patents were filed at the end of that period. This is for us an indication that the starting a protection strategy in that field would be in line with what most of the industry is doing at this time. Moreover, when we look at the geographical distribution of these patents, we realize the importance of the Asian companies in relation to the European ones. This could be translated in an added difficulty at the moment of trying to get this technology into the European market. This could be interpreted as well as an opportunity for European companies to fill a gap which at this moment has not been
been filled by any other European company. We believe that these patent reports could be also useful for the responsible persons in charge of the technology transfer officers of the institutions participating in ISA field. This is why we have also analyzed and extracted the top 10 companies which are active and which are patenting in these fields. The list of these companies and their countries of origins are to be found in a relevant part of the report. Patent analysis can also help, help to draw collaborative maps. In the case of the non-destructive equipment to assess quality of fluid, we have found more than 240 relevant patents. In this case, the number of patents owned by European companies was bigger than the same number related to Asian companies. However, when studying the number of companies working together to obtain the same innovation, we have realized that Asian companies have worked together, while European companies have done that task alone. This may be an important sign to research managers in Europe to define newer strategies of collaboration between public research officers and industry in order to increase the impact of research in Europe.